description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. If you're in need of a budget-friendly laptop for music production, the Acer Swift 3 might be the right choice for you. Priced at only $630, it offers some utility and some useful features for music producers at an accessible price. It has a powerful processor with impressive performance, an array of ports to connect your peripherals, and outstanding battery life for an entry-level option. It comes with a sleek aluminum magnesium metal chassis, and it only weighs 2.65 pounds, so it's perfect for those on the go. You get a 14-inch 1920x1080 FHD IPS screen that produces saturated colors and a reasonably detailed image, but it could be brighter. The keyboard features responsive chiclet keys and is backlit for better visibility in darker settings, but larger hands might find it somewhat uncomfortable. I also like that it comes with Windows Hello and a built-in fingerprint scanner to keep your information secure. It utilizes an AMD Ryzen 5 4500U Hexacore processor with clock speeds up to 4.0 GHz, integrated Radeon graphics, and 8 GB of RAM. It delivers solid and responsive performance with solid multitasking capabilities, so you can run multiple production programs and plugins simultaneously, but it might not handle more intensive projects. Unfortunately, it lacks an SD card reader, but the 256GB of SSD storage is adequate for the price. I think the battery life is another standout feature, and it delivers up to 11 and a half hours of runtime to see you through longer mixing sessions. You also get a USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and a USB Type-C port to connect external speakers along with an HDMI port. The Acer Swift 3 is an inexpensive option that outperforms the price tag. It provides a powerful processor with solid performance for production on a large screen. I would recommend this for beginner producers or budget-conscious content creators. For anyone who wants a great 2-in-1 laptop for producing music, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 might be your best option. Designed for portability, the $770 Microsoft Surface Pro 7 offers versatile performance and solid specs in a compact frame. You get a modern 2-in-1 design, enough processing power to run production software, and a high-resolution screen with solid picture quality. The ultra-thin design only weighs 1.7 pounds, which is great for on-the-go producers or small home studios. The 2-in-1 functionality lets you use it as a laptop or a tablet, although the keyboard is sold separately. I like that it can run full versions of your preferred music software in tablet mode, and it comes with a sturdy, built-in kickstand to keep it at a comfortable viewing angle while you mix. You also get a 12.3-inch touchscreen display with a 2736 by 1824 p resolution, and it has solid color accuracy with 98% coverage of the sRGB gamut, so it's also suitable for media viewing. It has an Intel Core i5 processor that performs well with less demanding digital audio workshops. The 8GB of RAM helps the system run smoothly, and it can multitask with a few additional programs to enhance your mix. The 128GB of SSD storage isn't the greatest, but it's suitable for entry-level music production. I think the battery life is solid, which provides around 10.5 hours of runtime, and it can reach 80% in about an hour, so it can last throughout longer recording sessions. You also get USB-C and USB-A ports to connect your preferred peripherals. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 offers outstanding versatility with its 2-in-1 design. You get solid power to run creative software, solid overall specs for the price, and USB-C ports to connect with newer devices. I would recommend this if you want a practical laptop with great portability for music production. Apple's new $900 MacBook Air model is one of the best laptops for music production, and it offers comparable performance to the MacBook Pro at a decent price. You get exceptional battery life, an upgraded processing chip, and a solid amount of storage with high, solid-state drive speeds. It comes with Apple's signature sleek aluminum chassis, and it weighs around 2.8 pounds, which is perfect if your production workflow requires frequent traveling. The keyboard is solid, and it delivers a responsive typing experience with good tactile feedback, and I like that it has a built-in Touch ID fingerprint button to keep your files secure. It has a stunning 13.3-inch 2560x1600 resolution retina display with outstanding detail, and it utilizes True Tone technology that adjusts the color temperature based on your environment to help reduce eye fatigue over long sessions. Unfortunately, it has thick bezels, but it supports the P3 color gamut to produce more accurate colors and images. I think the new M1 chip is the headlining feature, and it delivers outstanding performance that can handle the most processor and RAM-intensive tasks or music production software. It also comes with GarageBand, which is great for bands or mixing tracks. The 8GB of RAM helps it run smoothly while you record, and you get a solid 256GB of storage to save your files, along with high data transfer speed SSD to help reduce load times. The battery can last you around 15 to 18 hours depending on your usage, so you won't have to worry about it powering off mid-session. You also get two USB 4 ports and a USB 3.1 port, but a few more ports to connect peripherals would have been preferable. The Apple MacBook Air M1 is a powerful laptop, and I believe the performance outperforms the price tag. It has outstanding specs to deliver a smooth experience, a high-quality display, and a lightweight build that will suit most producers. For any Windows user who wants the best laptop for music production, the Dell XPS 13 is a great option that might suit you. 
The $1,500 Dell XPS 13 is an excellent non-Apple alternative for music producers with an ultra-thin design for solid portability, and it only weighs around 2.8 pounds, which is comparable to the MacBook Air. You get a 13.4-inch OLED display with a resolution of 3456 by 2160 and an impressive 400 nits of brightness that delivers a stunning, detailed image and it has an anti-glare coating to prevent reflections while you're recording. Unfortunately, the touchscreen display is prone to smudges, but it's responsive and you can get a 2-in-1 model that's more powerful than the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. The keyboard is solid and has a built-in fingerprint scanner for added protection, but the shallow travel distance won't suit everyone. Even more, it comes with speedy Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 wireless compatibility. The 11th generation Intel Core i7 processor delivers powerful performance and clock speeds up to 4.8 GHz, so it can handle daily tasks and demanding production workloads smoothly. You also get an incredible 32 gigabytes of RAM with outstanding multitasking capabilities so you can run several plugins and applications to optimize your sound without issue. It also has a colossal 2 terabytes of storage with good SSD speeds to store your mixes and I appreciate that it has a micro SD card reader. The battery is solid and you get around 9 hours of runtime. While it lacks some ports to connect audio enhancing peripherals, you get two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 3 support and it conveniently ships with a USB-A to USB-C adapter. The Dell XPS 13 is an outstanding Windows laptop that's well-suited for music production. It has impressive specifications and excellent overall performance, a touchscreen display, and a lightweight build. I think this is perfect for serious producers who aren't in the Apple ecosystem. If you're looking for the best overall laptop for music production, the Apple MacBook Pro M1 13-inch is a great option worth considering. It costs $1,100 and it delivers eye-popping functionality that differentiates it from the competition. You get an incredibly powerful processor and high-end specs, a stunning high-resolution display, and optimized performance with certain creative software. Like the MacBook Air, it comes with a robust aluminum chassis and it only weighs around 3 pounds. You get a beautiful 13-inch Retina display with a 2560 by 1600 p resolution that delivers bright, vibrant colors and high-fidelity images, and it also comes in a larger 16-inch configuration if you need more space, although it currently lacks the M1 chip. It also utilizes True Tone to optimize your image based on ambient lighting. I also like that it comes with Apple's latest OS, Big Sur, which delivers some productivity-increasing apps. The touch bar allows for easy on-the-fly adjustments, and it has Touch ID for more secure logins. The M1 chip delivers outstanding performance and unprecedented speeds to handle demanding processor-intensive production tasks and day-to-day -day computing. Logic Pro and GarageBand users will especially benefit from the upgraded chip, which drastically reduces project load times. It comes with 8GB of RAM that provides high-level multitasking, so you won't have to worry about it crashing. Even more, it has a solid 256GB of high-speed SSD storage, or you can get a 512GB configuration at a higher price. You also get two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports with up to 40 gigabytes per second and a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port to connect your hardware to, but I would have preferred to see a larger array of ports. Overall, I think the Apple MacBook Pro M1 13-inch is the best laptop you can get right now for producing music. It comes with numerous useful features that will suit serious producers, such as a stunning resolution and excellent multitasking capabilities. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.